Hey everybody, it's Jessica here from Jessica Smith TV and today I want to tackle a question that many of you asked me about which is, should I be taking 10,000 steps a day? So you may have heard this recommendation from experts and you might be wondering, is this right for me? So here on Jessica Smith TV, we do encourage you to move more throughout the day and that can really take the form of adding extra daily steps to your everyday routine. And when it comes to the exact amount of steps that you should be taking, it really depends on your body and your lifestyle. So if you think about it, 10,000 steps is very roughly equivalent to approximately five miles. That sounds like an awful lot. If you consider that the average adult takes around 5,900 steps per day, 10,000 can be an awful lot to fit in. So if you're starting around that more average number, you're not gonna wanna just jump right up to 10,000 steps, because that can be a lot for your body and your schedule, right? So we really encourage you to slowly, gradually start adding more steps to your day if that sounds like a goal that's right for you. So I'm so excited to let you know that we're actually putting together a very special challenge called the Five Mile Challenge, and we're teaming up with Spark People to help you add more steps to your every day. So if you click on the link below in the video description, you can access all of the details for the challenge, including our specific recommendations for your weekly step count, depending on your current fitness level and lifestyle. So we're here to help you gradually add more steps to your day and hopefully keep you more active throughout your every day. Now there's a couple of different ways that you can measure your steps. You can do it based on time. We like to say the equivalent of about 15 minutes of walking at a brisk pace is about one mile. Now again, that's gonna vary by individual as everybody's stride lengths are different, but that's just a general estimated mileage count for you. Another way to look at it would be to think of 2,000 steps as equaling about, again, approximately one mile. So you can do it by time, you can measure by steps, or you might actually just want to wear a tracking device that can keep track of your daily step count, such as a pedometer or an activity tracker. Now my recommendation, if you are using a tracker, schedule a few times throughout your day that you're gonna check it so that you know that you're on task to reach your goal by the end of the day so that you don't forget about it and then towards the end of the day you look at it and go, oh no, I need to get a whole bunch of steps in to reach my daily goal. We don't wanna put more pressure on you to feel like you have to do that in a short amount of time, but it's also not good to be obsessively checking it either. So consider setting a few times per day that you know that you'll check in with your device so that you can see if you're on track to reach your goals. Another little caveat there is just remember that not all trackers are 100% accurate. One study found that some of them can be off by as much as 30%. So again, don't put too much pressure on yourself to reach an exact number. Always listen to your body and if you feel a little too tired or a little too exhausted to try and reach that daily step count, listen to your body above that tracking device at all times. So I hope you guys will join us for the five mile challenge. Again, the link is below. Click on it to get all of the details about how to join in and how to check in with us during the challenge to give us your daily step count totals so we can all cheer and support each other along the way. Thanks so much for tuning in guys and I'll look forward to working out with you soon. Take care everybody.